Hello and welcome to the show, which is supported by Media Proxy. With events such as IBC cancelled, the demand for broadcast community to come together virtually is still very strong. And one such organisation that has been leading the way with regular live online events is, of course, the IABM. Yeah, and today we're chatting to Lisa Collins from the IBM about their next event. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the show. Hi, Simon. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me. All right. Always good to catch up, Lisa. So we can't really start without uh, discussing the recent cancellation of IBC. Uh, I don't think the decision to cancel was a surprise to most people, but the late timing of the final call has received mixed reactions, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from an IBM perspective, we welcome and support IBC's decision to cancel this year's show. Um, it was a tough call to make, um, but it's certainly the right thing to do. And it's a reflection of IBC's responsibility to the industry. Um, IBC, unlike any other show, exists for, uh, and is part of the industry only. And there's no substitute for good work it enables and the sense of community it creates. Um, and I think it's really important we get behind IBC now to ensure we can bring back a fantastic show in 2022 and beyond. Um, we're sad. Um, IABM had some exciting plans for the show. And although we can't meet in person, IBM's strategy has always been digital first. So we're committed to delivering our activity in the virtual environment. Great. We look forward to, to, to all of that. So moving on from IBC now, um, you mentioned digital plans. You've got a busy week ahead, haven't you? Yeah, we've got a busy week. Um, we've got our um, final BAM Live um, of the year, which we're all excited about. And clearly, this will now be a fully virtual event um, featuring panels of experts, speakers, that get to interact with their audience that we deliver on um, IBM's BAM Zone, which is our digital first industry platform. Um, and it's a complimentary event for the entire industry. Um, our December event includes six tracks, which together cover the key drivers of broadcast media and entertainment um, and evolving media economics is our key theme this time. Um, all of our tracks are underpinned by IBM's world class research um, and we'll be keeping discussions in line with these issues that are at the heart of industry's future success. Um, we've got some great speakers lined up um, from Discovery, ATP Media and MLK, just to name a few. And um, the great thing about BAM Live on the BAM Zone is the networking and the interaction that um, it creates for the industry. So we're looking forward to getting back together again. We might not be together in mm. person, but we'll certainly be together on the platform. Mm. So Lita, this is the fifth BAM Live event now, isn't it? You must have um, you, you must have picked up a lot of uh, experiences um, along the way. What what sort of lessons have you learned that might help others embarking on um, putting on similar events? Yeah, we we made a decision quite early on that we wouldn't commit to any one platform for our our virtual offering um, because the industry uh, the virtual events industry was m moving at a pace. So we've been able to adapt as we've been going on over the last 12 months. Um, I think the key thing for us was finding a platform where we could deliver really, really good quality content and also enable our, our delegates to network and talk to each other. Um, the other big thing that I guess we've learned is about putting some content on for the event, something for everybody. Um, don't just think about any one person. And adapting that and being adapting and agile as we, as we move forward. One of the things, I mean, it, you've, it's in the name, really. It's called the, the BAM Live. What, why, why are you doing it live? Isn't that, well, it is stressful. Kind of, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the point? Uh, it might be stressful, yeah. but it creates that engaging experience for our audience. You know, you, we've all been yeah. to events where it's pre-recorded content and you can't engage with the speakers. Um, and our audience want to hear more and, and ask their own questions. Uh, they've got their own views. So it means by being live, we can engage with both the speakers and the audience. Um, and that's really, really important to us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I agree with that. Last year, Lisa, we really enjoyed your BAM Awards. Um, again, that was virtual. Uh, I think this year is a similar format. Uh, but more importantly, though, you released the shortlist for the IABM BAM Awards last week. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and uh, when we're going to hear about the winners? 
Yeah, as you said, Simon, the event will be virtual this year um, and we will take it will take place on the 9th of December, again on the BAM Zone and on our virtual platform. And we're excited to hear um, who our winners are. But, you know, year on year, the IBM Awards attract more entries and importantly, entries of the highest quality. And again, even in this somewhat different year, our industry has not only continued to transform, but at a pace faster than we've ever seen. Um, obviously more high quality um, entries cause a tough um, time for our judges, um, but we're really, mm. really excited with that shortlist and who the winners might be. So tune in on the um, 9th of December. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I mean, one of the things is before you go, where can people find out more, see the schedules and times and who's involved when and where? Yeah, so it's all on the IABM website, www.theiabm.org. Um, and if you go into the events area on the website, you'll be able to see all of the details there and register your complimentary places. And I'm guessing for anyone not able to watch the live stream, they can catch up later. Is that on the same the same links? Yeah, absolutely. Um, clearly, if you attend live, you'll, you get the engagement that we talked about earlier, but it will all be available on demand for people to watch in their own time at their own pace. Thanks very much, Lisa. That's brilliant. Thank you. Shame we can't meet in person. Hopefully we'll we'll see you for successful shows in 2022. Thanks to Media Proxy for supporting us here at Kid Plus TV and thanks to you for watching.